This is Mike Torino. This is episode 19. And what we've got going on after a, a couple more rain days, as you might guess, uh, we, we finished the pour on the roof, poured the staircase to the roof that we can use now already. We're starting to tear down some of the bamboo and the cocoa lumber from inside the garage, the structure that's supporting the roof. But we still got, uh, you know, maybe seven more days of curing then, but we want to leave those supports in. This morning we had prime water come out, and that's our, our service provider for water, and they're getting ready to trench a supply line to us. So they're going to have to trench all the way up, all the way up behind me here, up to the garage. I don't know if they're done with this trench. I hope not, because it's going to end up getting cut. It's just going to be a PVC or rubber flexible hose that they use here. And the trench isn't nearly deep enough, but we'll see if they, they're going to make it deeper or not. But a ditch witch or, or a small excavator would be really nice to have. I'm outside the front of the garage now, and a lot of the forms have come down. We've, we've taken off some forms uh, over the beams, and we've removed a lot of the horizontal scaffolding but left a lot of the vertical in to, to keep supporting the roof until the end of the curing process. We want to give it at least three weeks up there but pretty soon we're going to be able to walk in the garage and check it out. I, I was in there and the, the roof looks really really nice with the steel decking. There's no deformities and uh, looks real clean. We took off some of the beam forms inside and it's really, really smooth. All of that extra effort with the vibrator really paid off. We have our steps in. I think they turned out really nice. Let's see if we can get a close up. Walking up the steps now. I'm up here on top of the roof now. And today they were able to set all of this concrete hollow block here. What you're looking at right here is the what I'll call the balcony. And on top of these concrete hollow block here will be stainless steel railings that are left an entryway on each side of the roof to come down into the balcony which is really just the overhang or the cantilever overhang over the garage and it's just kind of a extension of the rest of the roof back in the corner you see where the, where the CR will go and they'll probably be forming that up this week. They might be waiting until they, up, they get all the other columns poured in here. I'm going to have a water bib right here where I can hook up a hose and rinse off the roof when need be. This, these, these here our uh, conduits for air conditioning. We're going to have split air conditioning so the outside units will be up here. And then this CR here will be enclosed with the concrete roof. And I'm, I'm maintaining the exact layout um, that's below us. And also going to keep the sink and you know, provisions for the sink outside of the CR. So we have more room inside there. And here's a view looking west. And you see it's still still a lot of overcast. I mean it's honestly the the locals that have lived there all their lives, uh, they're even commenting that there's 
very odd weather as far as low pressure areas and the amount of rain we be getting. But up here is Mount Banahal and Mount Cristobal. And on a clear day, it's really beautiful. This is a, a look coming down the stairway. I'm happy with this. It's, it's easy to walk down and it's wide enough that two people could actually pass by each other here.